Hi, my name is Stephen Eady, and today we're talking about a bug in your guts called rheumococcasia. Now, what is rheumococcasia? It's a bug in your guts. It's actually quite good for you. And in fact, if it sort of slides down the path of not being there, it can be associated with conditions such as polycystic ovarian syndrome and irritable bowel syndrome. But today, I want to talk about its feature in the study called Gut Microbiome-Wide Association Study of Depression. Another mouthful, right? What it's saying is that we're looking at the gut microbiomes and how it is associated with the neurotransmitters in your brain. Now, in the abstract here, you can see that the gut microbiome, including our mate Rheumococcasia and the other bugs there, are associated with the production of glutamate, butyrate, serotonin, gabbroaminobutyric acid, and dopamine. Now, what does that mean? Well, those chemicals are made in your gut microbiome, which actually are transferred to the brain. Now, the, the most famous one of those for depression is serotonin. And you've probably heard of the drugs like Prozac, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. That's tr used to treat depression. Now, the gut microbiome makes about 90% of serotonin. And if this guy is low in the gut microbiome, you will suffer depression because it needs it's needed there to make it. So it's very interesting because we're starting and looking at neurochemistry and how it's connected with the gut. And for people who watch these uh, podcasts and these Two Minute Tuesdays are very familiar with the gut brain connection. But this goes one step further because this actually shows you that the neurotransmitted made in the gut affects the brain. So effectively, you've got shit for brains. I'm sorry to say that, but the shit actually is very important for making the neurotransmitters in your brain and helping you live a healthy, happy, healthy life. Thank you very much.